All right, so now you're probably barely starting out on Amazon and you want to figure out how to create your first Amazon campaign. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over everything that has to do with Amazon ads, or at least creating your first one. So here is the Amazon campaign. This is an account I no longer use. So you're gonna, go, gonna wanna go to create campaign. Once that loads up, we're focusing on sponsored products, okay? So there's three different types, sponsored products, sponsored brand, and sponsored display. Um, this account is not brand registered, so you cannot currently create these two types. So for the sake of this video, just sponsored products. So click continue. And once it loads up, you're gonna see all of this here. So let's go ahead and create the campaign name. Campaign name can be anything that you want. So let's do automatic. Okay. So since we're creating an automatic campaign, a lot of times it'll default to manual. So select automatic. Daily budget, you can set to whatever you want. I would always start low just so you don't waste money. So start $15 a day. And one thing to note about Amazon is it's different from Facebook. So if you set the daily cap at 500, it doesn't mean that it's going to spend $500 a day. It's based on clicks and not what you set this at. So if you put it at 500, it could spend $2 a day or it could spend $500 a day. This is just the max that you're allowing it to spend if it were to get that many clicks. So let's put 15, automatic targeting. Now this is your bidding strategy. So I always put the um, dynamic bid down only. I don't like to go up and down. So this means that if you set your cost per click at $1, it will move up to $2 if it means getting a higher placement. So I personally don't do this and I never do this. So dynamic bids down only and then you can name the ad group if you'd like i rarely do but if you want to name this something specific feel free and then we're going to add these products in here one's out of stock so you can add whatever products you want into here it'll always show up like whatever's in your actual account here so once you select the product, you're going to go down and automatic targeting is also always going to default to 75 cents cost per click. And then it's going to give you a suggested bid anywhere from 0.8 to 2.15 for keywords related to these products that I added. So this suggested is always based on keywords that are relevant to this. So I will usually like this, set bids by targeting group. As you can see, this one's not as bad. They're all pretty similar, but usually these will be pretty vastly different. So some categories, this will be $4 here. This will be 80 cents, a dollar 10 and 65 cents, right? Like, so it can always be super, super different. So if you're setting this to a dollar seven, all of these are going to be a dollar and seven cents. Right, so I always open this up and I edit them to whatever I want them to be. In this case, 75 cents is fine, but you generally don't want to start at the suggested bid, especially for um, automatic targeting, unless you're going into here and doing it like that. So if you're going below the suggested bid inside this targeting group, then that's fine. But a lot of times it'll spend a lot and it'll waste a lot of spend if you set this to the suggested bid of a dollar and seven cents. So we're going to go here, keep these, and then you can add negative keywords if you want. So anything that you know is, you know, a poor performing keyword or um, anything that it might target that's not relevant, you know, soup in here, 
add keyword. So it'll target anything that has soup in it, or it won't target anything that has soup in it. Okay. And then negative product targeting, same thing. So if you know there's a certain um, product or a certain brand or anything like that, that your product converts really poorly for, you can negate it here. So it won't target those products. So it's always good if there's like a running list of stuff that you keep that you can toss that in there and it'll get rid of it. So you never target it again. So quick overview again, make sure everything's good. You don't want to mess anything up. Cool. And then launch campaign. And then you can click edit campaign once it's going. Oh, and it said, oh, because it hasn't gone through yet. So once it loads through, it'll tell you everything. And then that is how you create your first campaign.